we know very little about Yoko Ono's private life, particularly in those years, just after the death of her husband, and Yoko's life in the Dakota is largely private, by design. A lot of information thrown around comes from Fred Simon. Simon wrote a biography about John Lennon after he got fired by Yoko as their personal assistant in 1981. The book The Last Days of John Lennon had difficulty getting released by its original publishing company because Yoko kept blocking it from being released. It wasn't until around 1992 that the book was finally released as a hardcover version. In this book it has been said that Lennon knew about Yoko's ongoing affair with Sam Hevettoy and felt bad about it in a rather helpless way in which he knew there was nothing he could really do about it. It is even said that the song I'm Losing You from Lennon's double fantasy refers to Ono's attraction to Sam Hevettoy. I'm Losing You does seem to suggest that all was not perfectly wonderful in Lennon's marriage. It is also said that John was livid at the time, he suspected Yoko was carrying on with Sam, but conveniently convinced himself that Sam is gay. Sam Havatoy is a Hungarian emigre who met John and Yoko in 1975 when they were shopping for Egyptian furniture in a shop he ran on the Upper East Side of Manhattan. From there, Sam took care of how their home looked, but his role was much more than that thanks to their orders and friendships that opened the way into leading art circles. On the same night as John's murder, it is said, Havatoy moved into the Dakota and he barely left Yoko's side for months. But suddenly, Sam took on a new image. Yoko had her young companion dressed up in John's old clothes and wear his hair long, just like John's. It was an impersonation that shocked and embarrassed their neighbors, including ballet star Rudolf Nureyev, who commented on it. BBC man Andy Peebles is one of the last journalists to interview Lennon. Following the pivotal interview, people struck up a friendship with Ono. Speaking for the first time, he recalls his misgivings about her conduct after Lennon's death, including how she acted with her new boyfriend. He explained to Daily Mail, I began to wonder if Yoko had encouraged John to go off and have a fling with their PA Mei Peng so that she could explore her attraction to Sam Habitoy. Thus, it's thought that the relationship with Habitoy existed even prior to Lennon's death. People said it, I knew she was in a new relationship with Sam Havatoy, a sculptor and antiques expert, 20 years her junior and a former Lennon aide. It was quite scandalous. Be that as it may, Ono remained protective of her private life in the decades after her husband's death. A decade after John's death, Yoko and Havatoy gave this telling interview to the LA Times. Yoko and Havatoy did confirm they were dating but not secretly married, as was rumored at the time. They were asked, there are reports you and Sam are secretly married. Yoko answered, I am not married, and Havatoy added, that's a state of mind, we are happy, we are living together, boyfriend and girlfriend, yes. Havatoy and Yoko wound up spending over 20 years together, far longer than her marriage to John. They ended their relationship in 2000. After they ended their relationship, Sam went back to Hungary, which is where he was originally from. It's a fact of life, every relationship has its peaks and valleys, and John and Yoko's marriage was not the fairy tale. They sometimes portrayed to the media, and it is unclear whether by the late 70s Yoko was in love with John. It appears they were having a lot of problems, although that's not completely clear either, but Yoko is not likely to vary from the love story they were presented to the world. And you can only judge for yourself if John and Yoko really had a relationship that has been portrayed in the press. To conclude, the truth can be complicated and messy, and it is also something we will probably never fully know. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> that was Ringo, folks. Well, what can I say? And goodbye you to know. all of them. <laughs> well, this is Ringo. Everyone seems to have said everything here, so I'll just sign off by saying cheerio and best of luck from the Beatles.